Now, the Fox Illinois Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. We have a loaded night in sports night with the NFL Draft. Chicago Bears fans and Illini fans both locked into the TV, but we start with a recent hire over at Porta. Porta AC recently appointed former assistant Derek Schnapp to the head coaching role for the Lady Blue Jays. Schnapp is a Porta graduate and has been coaching various levels of Porta basketball since the 90s. After being a part of the staff that saw a program record 30 wins last season, Schnapp says the plan is to build on their recent success. Well, we hope to do a lot of the same things. You know, uh, we've had a lot of success over the last several years. Um, obviously, personnel um, dictate style. Um, there'll be some similar things, but there might be some changes here and there too. But um, there's a great foundation, and our Lady Jays know there's some expectations there, and uh, we hope to achieve those. Are we losing a couple key key players? Absolutely. You know, we're we're losing two of our, our main players. We know that, but we've got some good players still coming back. The IHSA Board of Directors announced a state final hosting contract extension. <laughs> the boys basketball state finals debuted on the University of Illinois campus in 1919 and were played in State Farm Center from 1963 to 95 before returning in 2022. And now we switch gears from high school to the NFL. It's draft night and it was a big one for the Chicago Bears and their fans with high hopes for the future. And as expected, the Bears, they took Caleb Williams with the first overall pick in the NFL draft. The former Heisman winner is considered one of the best quarterback prospects of the last 20 years. Bears fans, you may have just found your quarterback of the future and he is ready to get going. I'm really ready because I want to get back to a football team. I can't wait. All I, all I heard is great things about you all. Um, and, and, and I'm ready to go. The Chicago Bears, despite some rumors, stood pat at number nine and picked a new weapon for Caleb Williams, wide receiver Roma Dunze from the University of Washington. He led the nation and broke a Husky record with over 1,600 yards last season. He joins a dangerous receiving core building in Chicago with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore. And we are still waiting to see where Johnny Newton ends up in tonight's NFL draft. The defensive tackle is among one of the top defensive players left on the board. He is celebrating and awaiting to hear his name called in his hometown of Florida. And Newton was projected to be a first round pick. Not quite yet, but projected to be, but battled an offseason injury. That led to his surgery and we'll keep you updated on where he ends up on our website. And of course, as a Colts fan, I have to shout out the first round draft pick for the Colts, Ed Rutcher Leatu Latu. Welcome to Indy. For now, that'll do it for sports. I'm Sammy St. Jean. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.